turns out uh, everybody was upset at Trump because he likes to grab a... <laughs> but, uh, forgetting that Bill Clinton... I guess forgetting that Bill Clinton's... One of his claim to fame was that he got uh, jizz on the, an intern's dress and then lied about it under oath and then uh, her his wife uh, then smeared the woman. Um, so, guess what? Witnesses to George H.W. Bush groping incident says actors were warned he gets pretty handsy. Ugh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so that goes George Herbert Walker Bush, then Clinton. We stopped because George Bush, W. Bush was a born-again Christian who I guess didn't like sex. Then we go to Obama, no sex scandals. Then we go to Trump. So again, the Clintons and the Bushes, a lot more alike than anyone thought. Also with Trump. This is something. This is really kind of shocking. Theater staffers had allegedly complained that the former president was creepy. Wow. <laughs> a woman who witnessed George Herbert Walker Bush groping a fellow actress says the cast hat was warm that he could get handsy. Emma Solberg, 24, was an ensemble member in the 2016 performance of The Hunchback of Notre Dame at the, uh, I can't, at some playhouse in Maine, <laughs> when Bush and his wife, Barbara, attended a performance. Barbara had issued the warning. <laughs> During the show's intermission, the couple came backstage to take photos with the cast. Solberg said that's when the former president grabbed Jordana Grolnick, another actress, in the cast. Grolnick told Deadspin that he reached his right hand around to my behind and as we smiled for the photo, he asked the group, do you know, do you want to know who my favorite magician is? As I felt his hand dig into my flesh, he said, David Copperfield. Oh, oh. And there it is. This is, is this, is this a Wow, there it is. Uh, That's his hand. That's that woman. That's from her from Instagram. That's her Instagram photo. It's so gross. That's the photo. There it is. There's his hand, David Copperfield. And there's his face. He's trying to get a little a little boner. Solberg confirmed Grolnick's account saying that Bush's behavior didn't shock her because other theater staffers always complain that he's kind of creepy. <laughs> Something everybody knows. He's creepy. Creepy dude. They warned us he gets pretty handsy after, and everybody in the room nervously left after Bush grabbed her ass. Wow. So I guess if you're in a wheelchair and you're 90 some years old, he thinks he can just get away with it because, ah, it's a cute old man, right? right. That's yeah. what he's doing. Yeah, exactly. Back in my day, der -der -der. It was a classic case of not going to say anything because he's literally a president, she said, noting that Barbara was very aware of it and said something like, oh, keep your hands where I can see him, George. <laughs> he's groping 20-some-year-old women. Boys will be boys, Jimmy. He's or groping. old men will be old men. <laughs> he's groping women in public. And the first lady has to say, keep your hands where I can see them? George. <laughs> Could you imagine if Hillary had to say that to Bill in public? Could you imagine if Melania said that to Trump in public? A former Bush spokesman referred to giving. Here's the comment from the Bush. This is the comment yep, from. Yeah, but here it comes. At age 93. Oh, let's remember to start with his age. He can't be that. What I don't, nefarious. At some age, do you get dumber than you were when you were 50? So if he was 50 years old, everybody would be upset. But since he's almost twice that age. When, when do you get dumber than you were when you were 50? When does that happen? He's not dumb. He's just physically frail. President Bush has been confined to a wheelchair for roughly five years, so his arms fall on the lower waist of people with whom he takes pictures. He can't help him. To try to put people at ease, the president routinely tells the same joke, and on occasion... He has patted women's rears and what he intended to be a good-natured manner. No, <laughs> you liars. <laughs> You're lying. 
the women all know it's gross and creepy. Come on, Jimmy. It's a predator is just good natured. Yeah. I bet if you look at the sexual harassment policies in any office place, it will say, don't touch anybody on the behind unless it's in a good natured manner. Then and it's you're okay. in a wheelchair. And you're in a wheelchair. If then in- HR won't take it seriously. Please, if you're, there's any groping going on, be seated. <laughs> on occasion, he has patted women's rears in what he intended to be a good natured manner. What? Get the. F- are you get. It's great to know that that uh, statement, they can uh, predict what his intentions are. It's good natured. Mm-hmm. Just grab a woman's uh, private parts in a good natured way. Uh, some have seen it as innocent. Others clearly view it as inappropriate. To anyone he has offended, President Bush apologizes most sincerely. <laughs> and that's probably what he was doing when he was apologizing. Grolix now says the other actors had told her before the photo that Bush had a reputation for fondling during photo ops, but she didn't take it seriously. I guess I was thinking he's in a wheelchair. What harm could he do? Then her question got answered. We all circled around him and Barbara for a fo- and Barbara for a photo, and I was right next to him, she says. He reached his right hand around to my behind. And as, as we smiled for the photo op, he asked the group, do you know who my favorite magician is, and I felt his hand dig into my flesh. He said, David Copperfield. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Funny. As a 90-year-old guy, cops a feel off a 20-year-old actress. Holy fuck. Grolnick says others in the room laugh politely and out of discomfort. He's going to get himself put in jail, Barbara said, to which we laughed harder. This is from the Los Angeles Times. Actress Heather Lind accuses President George Herbert Walker Bush of groping her. An AMC actress claims that former President George Herbert Walker Bush groped her from his wheelchair during a screening. Heather Lind, the actress, Heather Lind, who starred in Turn Washington Spies, detailed her accusation in a lengthy Instagram post Tuesday when she said she was disturbed after seeing a photo of President Obama with the 41st president. But nobody gets disturbed when, they, when you see Obama hanging out with George W. Bush, the guy who's just a war criminal. That's okay. A war criminal is okay, but a groper. I found it disturbing because I recognize the respect ex-presidents are given for having served, and I feel pride and reverence toward many of the men in the photo. But when I got the chance to meet George Herbert Walker Bush four years ago to promote a historical television show I was working on, he sexually assaulted me while I was posing for a similar photo. He didn't shake my hand. He touched me from behind from his wheelchair with his wife, Barbara Bush, by his side. He told me a dirty joke and then all the while being photographed, touched me again. Barbara rolled her eyes as if to say, not again. His security guard told me I shouldn't have stood next to him for the photo. Here's the photo. Oh, my God. And she knows that he does this. So she knows he does this. Just so you know. And she doesn't care. And she doesn't care. Wow. That is... Oh, that's so gross. That That is is gross. That she knows... She knows he's going to go grope a girl. She knows that when they go backstage to take a picture or wherever they go to take a picture, that this cretin is going to fucking sexually assault a woman, whoever is next to him, and he does. And what does she do? I... It's okay, he's white. <laughs> and he's old. And he's old. He's going to get himself in jail one day, I tell you. This rascal. Oh, I wish there was social media when he was president. So I don't know what this tells us. Uh... Are all men leches this way if given the opportunity? Is that what this tells us, Ron? That all men are leches like this if given the opportunity? I really hope not, but I think a lot of people kind of get power drunk. I mean, I, I was feeling really bad for that person as she was telling her story. Yeah. But she was saying how she respects the office of the president. And I couldn't help think, I have a feeling you only met one president. Right. And that was your, experience. your experience. And I'm not, I'm not going to say every single former president would do that, but you know what? Maybe... 
Uh, some of these people aren't so great morally. Maybe power really does corrupt people because they do some terrible things that I can't ever imagine doing. I can't ever imagine ordering a drone strike. I can't ever imagine like yeah, doing I... that. And you have to have a certain type of wiring to be able to that I think the average person cannot relate to. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm going to guess you're right. I mean, if you can... Well, they would say that Bill Clinton was great at compartmentalizing things, right? So he could still go and work on policy while he was dealing with his sexual uh, scandals. Oh, what a multitasker. Yeah. What a... <laughs> yeah, what a multitasker. <laughs> I see and it all it, differently now. It really is, you know, uh, you know, historically you see that men, you know, in positions of power pick and choose whatever mate they want to be with. But here you have an opportunity. She's just taking a photo with him, and she has to be touched. She has to so somebody wild. has to like. That's like that's so. It's gross. It's awful. And look, all those people, mostly men, are in the room. And the other woman who's standing there, Barbara, she knows what he's doing, and so the whole room excuses this elderly man's behavior. So look at the yeah. So and and the weird thing is, you don't have to put your arm around anybody. You sit, nobody else has got their arm around anybody in that photo. Why do you have to put your arm around somebody? How about she puts her arm around you? And you just kind of sit there with your... But that's not when he wants to grab a woman. He wants to go grope someone. Mm -hmm. And so he just does it. Fuck it, I'll be dead soon. They're not going to put me in prison. I'll just grab her. And he does. Yeah, if, if you're at ass level with everybody, maybe mm -hmm. just keep your hands to yourself during a photo. That, yeah. that was a bullshit excuse. That, that is a bullshit had. excuse. Yeah. Beyond. Well, it's because he's in a thing, and when he goes out, fuck off. So he makes a joke to ease the tension. Ease the he tension. feels bad about it. Yeah. He wishes Sand wasn't there. He really does. Like, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. He feels bad about it. He wish. Uh, hey, why don't you sit on my lap and talk about what pops up? That's what he's going to say next. <laughs> You're giving him lines. Yeah. Now, now he's like, like, oh, the, man, I got a new one. Well, that's what it sounds like, What he, the kind of stuff he says, right? Uh, David Copperfield, sit on my lap, see what pops up. Hey, yeah. hey, I'm hilarious, Bush. We're all funny. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the show. You have to subscribe if you like the videos because the YouTube is making it harder for people to see our videos. They're trying to get rid of independent news people. So if you can do that, I would appreciate it. Also, find a way to help support the show by a T-shirt mug or... Become a Patreon or premium member through PayPal. The next live Jimmy Dore show is November 6th in Burbank, California, and November 12th in Portland, Oregon. Link for tickets right there.